Good evening and welcome to the meditation class this evening. Today we'll be working with the shamanic work, we'll be opening our world culture, uh, working with our death arrow to get rid of any uh, negative energies that are around us and then we're going to journey to the lower world to retrieve our power animal. So that's going to be, uh, it's going to be very exciting. So as always if you're just sitting comfortably either like myself in the Burmese position um, or you could be sitting on a chair or lying down wherever you're comfortable as long as your, your vertebrae, your energy centers are in alignment. That's good. And we're going to start by opening the sacred space around us and we do that start by bringing our hands together in front of our chest, the prayer pose. On the next in breath bringing it up into our eighth energy field, our eighth chakra this radiant orb of light, it's like the sun, the morning sun, and then spreading this all around us, encasing us in like a cocoon of light, all around us there now. And then we're going to open the sacred space around you, around the class who are watching this. So bring our hands together again, <clears throat> bring it up into our eighth energy center, Spreading it out and then spreading it out over you, watching this recording. The sacred space, this quietness, this peacefulness. Ah, the serenity now. Letting go. That's good. Now we'll take up our, our fire stick, our death arrow, to rid any negative thoughts, feelings, or emotions. We're going to blow those into the stick and then we're going to put them to the fire to release them. Um, if you don't have a stick, maybe a toothpick or a rolled up piece of paper. Or you can blow your intention or things into my stick as I release them as well. So think clearly about the thoughts or feelings and emotions that you want to blow in there. And then with your intention, blow that in. And if you have two, three or four emotions, just take your time and blow those in as well. I like to twist the stick just a little bit around so there's a new part for that next emotional feeling to go in. That's good, just taking your time, you're doing that there now. That's good. Good. Then we're going to put it to the fire, releasing those thoughts or feelings or emotions. Have a little catcher here just in case. Thinking of those thoughts or feelings that are being released as you, as you let them go. Always a different flame, always something slightly different, You're releasing different energies, allowing them to be released, say thank you, thank you for my lesson, time to move on, release them to the healing power of light and love. When it gets a bit closer, the fingers just turn them up so it back burns on itself. And a final releasement. Just letting go. That's good. And just sitting comfortably, just closing your eyes. You can either have your hands flat on your knees or you can work with the different energy centers around your body. I like to change them as I'm meditating, as I'm working. Whatever position is comfortable for you, listening to my voice. That's good. Relaxing and letting go. Being aware of your breathing, being aware of your breath. Feel the sensation of that breath coming in and out of your nose or your mouth. That feeling, that sensation as the breath comes 
in and out of your tummy, expanding and contracting. Relaxing there now, melting away. Now bring and allow that relaxation to come down your body from the top of your head. Bring that down into your forehead, your eyes, around your nose, cheeks, around your mouth and chin, muscles around your jaw, just relaxing. Now bring that down the back of your head, down to your neck. Now allow that relaxation into your shoulders and just feel your shoulders just Letting go. Now down your arms from your shoulders down into your elbows. Elbows into your wrists. Rest into your hand and fingers at the ends of your fingertips. Now allow that relaxation to come down the front of your body, down your chest, down into your abdomen, and your back, upper back, middle back, lower back, relaxed. Now from your waist now down your thighs, front of your thighs, back of your thighs to your knees, your knees down your calves and your ankles, ankles into your feet, tops of your feet, underneath you, heels, arches, balls, at the end of your toes. So this relaxation you have now from the top of your head going all the way down to the tips of your toes, relaxed and letting go. And you're breathing, always aware of your breathing. I'm going to start with a count of twos. Breathe in for two, hold for two, out for two, hold for two. And repeat that four or five times and we'll move to fours. In that time we'll introduce the drum as well and allow that vibrations to go in and through you for your own self-healing as you're relaxing and letting go. So when you're ready now, here we go. Breathing in. One, two, Hold, one, two, out, one, two, hold, one, two, and again, in, two, hold, one, two, out, hold, in, hold, out. And again. Once more. Now the fours in three, four, hold three, four, out three, four, hold in, hold out, hold and again in. to your normal breathing rhythm. Just 
allowing the sound of the drum, the vibration to go in and through your body, as you're relaxing, melting away, the vibration to move your own inner healing, your own self-healing, changes, your awareness on the beat of the drum, your awareness on your breathing. You're relaxing here now. I'd like you to picture, visualize, imagine this light coming out from the top of your head. This light, any color of the rainbow. Could be a bright color or it could be a softer color. But this light is a special light. This light is full of peace, love, light, healing, and protection. This light that's coming out from the top of your head, I'd like you to take it all around your body like a cocoon again of light all the way around surrounding yourself in peace in love in light healing and protection now I'd like you to share that as we share that out and around there now spreading it out like sound waves from a source Spreading it out now around the room or space that you're in now. Sharing this peace and love and light and healing and protection. Now from your room out and around your home, whether it's a house or apartment or the building that you're in, Spreading this color out there now. Now spreading this further out around your neighborhood. Spreading this peace, love, light, healing and protection. from your neighborhood out around your village or your town or city. From that now out around your nation, your country, sharing and spreading this peace, love, light, healing and protection. from your head, from you sharing and spreading this now. Now spreading that further out around neighboring nations, around neighboring countries. And then all the way around Mother Earth, all the way around Pachamama, Gaia. It's peace, love, light, healing and protection. And now I'd like you to send extra energy, extra light to the, all the areas of conflict in the world, all the areas of conflict that we're hearing about, all those areas that we're not being told about, all those areas closer to home to do with friends, family, loved ones, send extra light, extra energy to them full of peace and love light and healing and protection. (sighs) 
and now that light that's all the way around Pachamama, around Mother Earth. Spread it out, send it out into the universe as far as you can. Far out into the universe, this peace, love, light, healing and protection. All the way out there now. bringing yourself back into this room, back into your body, back into your awareness and your mindfulness of your breathing. Back into now. Letting go. Relaxed. Melting away. Believing in who and what you really are. Relaxed and letting go. <sighs> and as you're relaxing there now, we learn how to journey to the invisible realm of the lower world. To call for a power animal to accompany you back. Quite often this will be one you haven't foreseen, perhaps as simple as a swallow, or a small bird, or as rare as a crocodile. You must accept the power animal that comes to you, unless it's an insect, which is associated with the lower world, and it's best to be left in their natural spiritual habitat. Working with a power animal is about who you are becoming, not about who you'd prefer to be. Your power animal will connect with you to your natural, unspoiled state. It will ground you in your instinctual self and you can embody its teaching by communicating with it and learning its rhythm, movements and ways of perceiving the world. If you perceive a power animal that you dislike, such as a serpent, remember that it represents an instinctual part of yourself that you may have become disconnected from or even find distasteful. So relaxing there now, begin by taking an extra deep breath. That breath coming in and out. Relaxing any tension, inhaling only light, enlightening, releasing any heaviness you may not want to bring with you. Now, imagine yourself on a mountaintop, a beautiful mountaintop, the blue sky above you the great trees in three directions, the one direction is clear, the one leading to the beach. You come to the edge and you look down and you see a gentle slope, a gentle slope that you must navigate through and around, around a few boulders and make your way to the beach. Go ahead and begin to make your way down descending from the heights, going through the underbrush, getting to a green meadow, a beautiful green meadow, soft grass, until you get to the sand at the edge of the beach and you notice ahead of you, at the edge of the water, is a canoe. And you know it is a spirit canoe because it glimmers and shines with colours of woods you have never seen before. You come close to it, feeling the soft sand beneath your feet. And you see there is a paddle inside. You look at the waters and the waters are calm and still. And not far away is the island of the power animals. 
revealing in its beauty and glory. You see the trees and the forest there and you accept the invitation to go and find that power that is stalking you already. And you climb into the spirit canoe and you take that paddle and push off into the shallow water. You find your seat and you begin to paddle. The water is clear and you see the bottom and it is getting deeper. And with each stroke you are getting closer and closer to the island. The sacred island that summoned you today. The island of the power animals. Paddling strongly, powerfully. See how the island draws near. You can see there is a forest, a woods and a meadow and of course the beach and behind it a mountain. As you draw closer you realize it is alive. You're being watched, that there are eyes that are staring at you. There are forces and powers that are waiting for your arrival. And you near the beach and you take the last two or three strokes and you feel the bow hitting the sand. You step out of the canoe onto the shallow water. You pull the bow out of the water so you have your vehicle for returning back to your world, to your ordinary world. After you've pulled the canoe up, you stop and look around and you sense there are eyes upon you even though you cannot see them. You feel a sense of peace, of welcome. And now you must choose which way you go. Will you allow them and follow the beach around the island? Or will you take the path of the river, of the stream that flows down to the beach, walking along the shores, or will you go into the forest or into the meadow? Regardless of which path you choose, take it. Begin to make your way into the heart of the island. Walking placidly, peacefully, feel yourself welcome. Even though you know you're being watched. That there is power behind those rocks, behind those trees, behind that bend in the path. You continue walking until you get to a clearing. In the center of the clearing there is a stone and you know it is where you are meant to wait and sit. Come up to the stone and take a seat. Close your eyes and go into a deep meditation. Taking a deep breath and inhaling and exhaling and once more inhaling and exhaling and with your heart call on your spirit animal that spirit animal that is meant for you at this time in your life that will help with the challenges and the obstacles and to seize the opportunity that life has to offer you Call that power animal with all your heart, with your soul. I call you. I am ready to meet with you. You feel that there is someone, something approaching you from behind and you do not move. You feel the hairs on the back of your neck standing on end. Don't be afraid. And now it stops directly behind you. You can feel its breath. Now, slowly, gradually turn around and look into the eyes of your power animal. Look into its eyes. Deep eyes gazing back at you. Ask it 
Who are you? How long have you been tracking me? What are your powers? What is your medicine? What is your beauty? What is your strength? What gifts do you have for me? What parts of me must die so that you can live within me? How can I serve you? Gaze into its eyes and ask your power animal anything you wish to ask. Ask your power animal again, how can I serve you? How can I serve that power that you bring to me? How can I honour you? How can I grow it? How can I grow you and honour you? If it feels right and if you're ready, I'd like to extend both your hands and to receive this power animal. Take it into your heart centre, to your heart chakra. Take it into you. Accept this gift. Take it into your heart center. Beak, feathers, fur, scales, fins. Take it into you. The spirit animal. Feel it inhabiting every cell of your body healing and transforming it every cell in your body, filling it with its power, with its beauty, sensing how your instinct goes back to its natural state. How you recover your animal nature of the animal the sacred feminine of this gift that this mother is offering you, the great mother. Feel the vibration and the power and the joy of this power animal through your body, occupying the space between each cell in your body, resetting your senses, resetting your instinct, knowing that you can trust that the mother is looking after you. And now prepare to make your journey back. Back the way you came. Stepping off the stone and back onto the path. Begin to make your way back to the spirit canoe walking back along the shore, along the woods, along the meadow. Back to the sand and notice that your spirit canoe is there. But if you look around you, you see that the mist, that the fog is starting to return to the island and you know it's time to leave. Now you must choose. Do you take the spirit animal 
this gift from the mother back with you? If you choose to leave this behind, know that it is the last chance and that you must exhale it out of you or take it with you. Inhale a deep breath of affirmation and stepping back into the spirit canoe, begin to make your way back to the mainland. Picking up the paddle, pushing off into the shallow water, the crystal clear water where you can see the bottom beautiful colours and paddling deep in the water and with each stroke drawing further and further away from the island. You can feel the cool mist gathering around you and you must not be trapped in that mist or you may not return but you power through the mist paddling strongly back into the clear sunlight as you see the breach, the beach of the mainland drawing closer and closer. You now feel the bow of the canoe sticking to the beach and you look down and the water is shallow again. As you step out and you begin to pull the bow of the canoe out of the water you see that it is vanishing in front of your eyes, disappearing back into the world of spirit until there is nothing but you standing on the beach. As you gaze up, you see that the island has been reclaimed by the mist and by the fog and you bow to it and you thank it because you know that it is alive, that it is a sacred place of the mother. Thank you, mother, for allowing me into your place of the sacred animals. Now you begin to make your way back up the trail where you descended, back to your hilltop, your mountaintop. You find the ascent is so much easier much faster. You have so much energy and power available to you as you climb back up to the heights, passing the great trees and the giant boulders, following the trail up, up to your mountaintop to where you started. You sit down on the mountaintop on the flat stone and you look out towards the sea. You observe that the fog has claimed the island once again and you bow to it, thanking Great Mother for allowing you into her most sacred place and feeling yourself infused with power, with energy and with the spirit of your power animal with you. You close your eyes, you take a deep breath, <sighs> and another. And with your intention, you bring yourself back into the room, into your body, into where you are right now, today. Feeling as you return, how the beauty and the grace of the gifts of your power animal are taken in by every cell in your body, giving you guidance and wisdom and courage for the next steps in your life. <sighs> Holding on and communicating, recognizing this power animal every day. I see me on mine by my side, especially in times of trouble or conflict. There to call upon to help with great spirit. <sighs> Letting go.
back to your breath, enjoying this luxury of abandoning time as you're meditating, as we journey to the lower world to meet, greet and bring back our power animal. In a moment now, count from one to five, bring you back to your full awareness. If you're feeling calm, rested, refreshed, relaxed, if you're feeling wonderfully good, wonderfully good. One, slowly, calmly, easily and gently return to your full awareness once again. Two, every muscle and nerve and fibre in your body be feeling loose and limp and relaxed, you'll be feeling wonderfully good. Three, from head to toe, you'll be feeling perfect in every way. Physically perfect, mentally perfect, emotionally calm and serene. Number four, your eyes will feel sparkling clear as a bathe in a cool spring mountain stream. On the next number now, you'll be fully aware, feeling calm, rested, refreshed, relaxed, feeling wonderfully good. Wonderfully good. Number five, up. Slowly open your eyes. Take a deep breath. Fill up your lungs, stretch and smile. Good. Well done. Well done. Take your time there. And as you're just coming back to full awareness, I'd like you to share you with you. My daughter did some paintings for me this before class. So I have the one behind me of Om. And a special one here as well. A very special loving dog that I love very much. <laughs> He's at the back of the class looking at me now. <laughs> okay, let's finish by closing our work coaches. So bring up the fold, like a fold of a blanket from around the class, from around you, bringing this up up into our eighth chakra again. And the more you work with this, the more tingling or sensations you feel. Only bring down onto your body what is for your highest good. Bring this one down in and through the whole of your body. Good. And then bring up your folds of your own water culture. Bring them up, up and back into this eighth energy field, eighth center, this radiant light. And again, bringing down only what is for your highest good. Bring it down into your energy centers this time. That's it. That's good. And then let's just take extra, extra down for Pachamama, for Mother Earth, for her much needed healing. So much needed. Ah, thank you. Thank you for joining me for the class. Thank you for joining me and watching this and have an enjoyable rest of the day and weekend and days and weeks ahead. Namaste. Aho. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.